Hi everybody, welcome to my rapidly made Sunday dinner with spaghetti sauce, doctored, and noodles. So, in the time it takes my water to boil, I will have created a wonderful spaghetti sauce out of a jar of sauce from Aldi's. So it's real hard here. The hardest part's probably opening up the lid. Dumping it in. And it's very thick, as you, am I right? As I go. Okay, so what I do is I water it down ahead of time. And don't worry, by the time it's time for dinner, most of this water will have evaporated. Shake, shake, shake. You know, get everything you can out of the jar. Pour it in. If I'm satisfied with it, awesome. If not, go back and go fast. So let's stir it up and look at the consistency. All right, so I'm not satisfied with the consistency yet, so we'll give you a close-up view of the consistency I like. So there we go. Right now we're... So right now you can see the consistency, it's loose. But I have to add some more ingredients to make it mine. So I got crushed red pepper flakes. I'm just going to go like that. That's more than enough because I personally don't like really hot spice. I got a little garlic powder. Mm. That looks good. A little onion powder. And I use powder because I don't want to add any more sodium to it. And then here is the piece de resistance. Every year I grow my Italian basil and I dry it. And, mm, and I take about this much and I crush the heck out of it until it becomes so powdery. Okay, see that? So now we have some flavorings to uh, add it. And you know what? I think I'm gonna add a little wee bit more. Just enough. See, the flakes are fully, fully here. All right, so here we go. And this sauce will be enough for at least two pounds of spaghetti when it's all said and done. Get those last drops. And let it come come up to a boil and we'll be happy. So I got that on high, I got this on high. Once it hits a boil, then I will just turn it off until I'm ready to put it with the spaghetti. So there we have it for now. So let's just wait for minutes for the water to boil. Okay, so you can see it's been about mm, eight minutes, ten minutes, and it's started to boil. So I'll let it go for a little bit longer and then I'll turn it off. As I get, as soon as I put the noodles in, I'll turn it off for a little bit. So there you go. Okay, so then I'm going to grab some fresh basil here from my garden in the house. And this way I can add it at the very end to my pasta. Sometimes I just snip off the leaves versus the top, and that's supposed to make it grow more. That's what they say. Okay, I think that's enough. Okay, like I said, now it's boiling. I'm going to turn this off so it doesn't get too thinned out. But, as you can see, my water is boiling. So I'm going to add my salt. And remember, be generous with your salt. Be careful, sometimes it'll bubble up a lot, but that's what you want it to do. I'm just adding two pounds of pasta because there are seven of us and it's always wonderful to have some leftovers for the week okay so I'm going to bring this back to a boil and get this stirred in here and the goal is not to have it stick and it will be perfectly fine here in a second Oops. okay and that's still boiling that's not good turn it down low and that might make a difference for you right Okay. Almost. I have plenty of water in this big pot. I hold on to it because sometimes at first it's hard to get get going. There we go. Just let it sit there for a minute. While that's sitting there for a minute, I'm gonna come over here and chip and nod my basil. So remember that's just rolled all up like a cigar. Get out your favorite knife. And my favorite knife is this 
big old cleaver that my mother gave me. Does a great job. I just keep it sharp. I use the stems up to the point. So there we go. I'll add that at the last minute when I add the pasta to it. So let's go back over here. Check it out. We're getting there. Okay. So we like ours al dente, but I'm cooking for my dad. He's 96 and he likes his a little more done, so we have to honor that. And so 12 minutes back to boil. So I'm gonna just set my timer for 12 minutes and we will test it then. And I will stir this once in a blue moon here. Taste this noodle, is it ready? Ready? Got it? Are they done? Do they meet with your satisfaction? No. Dad? Is it done? All right, we're getting the shake of approval. All righty, time to drain. We drain the noodles, and we're set here with the noodles are drained, and then my assistant helped me because it's heavy. We put it right back into the pot and it goes back to the stove. Alrighty, now hmm, we just pour sauce in here and my assistant's going to be stirring for me. Maybe. I'm going to do it this way. Okay. Alrighty, I can manage now. There's two pounds of pasta here, so pretty good number. So I'm gonna put some more in. Don't be afraid to pour because it works. Okay. Uh, people are getting ready for dinner. They're washing their hands. Okay. Now we're gonna just put it into the bowl here. Watch out, Mandy. Oops. It's hot. And I'm gonna add some more. Hmm? Sure. Sauce. Where is it? Where's what? All right. You can tell it's Sunday dinner and it's noisy here, but that's okay. We go with the flow. All right. And put it on for me, please. All right. Now we got our pasta scoop, and we are set for dinner. Thank you very much. That's pasta.